Hi, I'm Pedro. I'm the director of algorithms here at SWORD. So the ThrivePad is already out in the world and in the hands of our members. Um, it is not just a new device. It is a significant step forward in pain care. Today, we're here to talk a little bit about the ThrivePad, about why we built it, how we built it, and some of the challenges that, that we faced. So starting with the why. Uh, when you're doing exercises at home, um, the experience has to be at the forefront. Like you want to, to use the system. We want to make our members want to use the system. So the ThrivePad is key to unlocking the full potential of Phoenix, our AI care specialist, and also the centerpiece of the user experience, right? So at SORT, we're constantly learning and iterating. We already have one computer vision system that was proving to be great in terms of engagement and outcomes, but we're constantly lear uh, learning from our members, listening to them and, and what we could improve. So with the ThrivePad, we, we know that a key piece is being close to the system so that you can see the feedback that it is providing to you and hear the feedback. So we need to have wide angle cameras, a big screen so that you can be close to, to, to the system. You may not have a lot of space in, in, in your house. Um, at the same time, uh, when we put the, the dual cameras that, that we now have, we are improving the quality of, of the tracking. We can be more robust to difficult lighting conditions. We can give the system depth perception. So if the previous system was already superhuman, this one is, is even better. At the same time, uh, you may have seen the, the conversational moments that we have a key piece of, of communicating with, with Phoenix. And so for these conversational moments, uh, you need to be able to be able to, to have a conversation in a space where there's a lot of background noise or even speak over, over the system. And for that, we put better microphones, we put better speakers, and we improved our echo canceling capabilities. So I'm very excited about this new device and I'll hand it over to the systems team to tell you more about the hardware. Hi, I'm Luis and I'm the director of systems engineering here at SWORD. And I want to enter a little bit on the details why we decided to improve our previous computer vision tablet with ThrivePad. So the previous model had an eight inches display and a mid-range SoC that uh, didn't allow us to fully unleash the power of AI. So we decided to improve. Um, we started by improving the, the frontal cameras for top-notch frontal cameras with 165 field of view that allow us to capture the, our fully body height at the distance of one arm. We also decided to improve the microphones of the tablet. We added the two digital microphones, MEMS microphones to the device, also powerful speakers. We changed the SOC of the device for a high range SOC with a built-in NPU, neural processing unit, that will allow us to improve the AI capabilities of the tablet. And we also had the 10 inches full HD display. So these modifications on the device added a total increase of 63% of the price of the model, of the device. But this showcases that here at SWORD, we don't care about the cost. What we care is about the quality of treatment that we can provide to our members. So we built a device that it's not for just now, it is a device built for the future. And I will hand over now to Gustavo to speak a little bit about the mechanical parts. Thank you. Um, I'm Gustavo, I'm leading mechanical engineering here at SWORD. Um, and I want to take you a bit behind uh, the scenes and talk about the journey that brought us ThrivePad. Um, as in any ambitious project, we uh, face our fair share of challenges uh, from the design through manufacturing all the way to uh, delivering ThrivePad to, into the hands of our users. But SWORD is all about ambition and innovation, so we set ourselves to build something truly unique. Um, we began by broadly ideating around form factors and component layouts. Um, and then by thoroughly challenging and every concept and, and refining over time until we landed on this reductive and asymmetrical um, design that simply strips away all but the necessary while striking a balance between a high-tech object and a device that users will be delivered, uh, will be delighted to, to, um, to have it in their homes or to bring with them. Um, so once we solidify the, the design, the real engineering challenge began, which is to bring this intricate 
design into life. And we put our full effort into integrating all of its powerful hardware and maintaining its um, this sleek and user-friendly form. And packing in the dual front uh, wide view, field of view cameras was, was no small feat, let me tell you. And, and not to mention the, the, the 10 inch display, all of the electronics and fine tuning the, the enhanced audio system. Uh, both powerful speakers and the, and the MEMS uh, microphones. Um, so when, with the design finalized, we performed rigorous testing. We wanted to put ThriveFat through its spaces to guarantee that it would withstand its daily use while uh, providing a, a flawless user experience. Um, and I think this dedication to, to detail, for instance, led us to a pivotal discovery. So we, for us to, to provide an optimal full body capture, um, we understood that the tripod had to be positioned completely upright. And the stand that, the, the original design that we had for the stand had a slight tilt and it just wouldn't do. So we knew we had to go back to the drawing, uh, drawing board and basically rethink the whole thing. And I guess that we turn a potential setback into an opportunity because we landed on this um, much more elegant and simple design built with minimum parts. And that is perfectly stable and suited to position the thrive path vertically. And in the end, that's the mindset that actually allowed us to uh, deliver this unique uh, device into the hands of those that uh, truly needed the most. <coughs> Learning and, and iterating is, is truly what we do, uh, what we did with ThrivePad, both before and, and during the, the process, like, like you mentioned. So, like we said at the beginning, the ThrivePad is already out in the world, uh, is already helping our members feel pain-free. Uh, we're taking a phased approach to rolling it out because, again, we want to make sure we're measuring uh, its performance, we're iterating, make, making sure we get it right. So uh, this is really uh, uh, an achievement uh, for, by, by the team, something we're really proud of and excited to, to see in, in the field, and a testament to that in, in SWORD, what matters is outcomes. It's not cost, it's not cutting corners, it's delivering a world-class experience to our members. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you.